First thing I gotta say? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Well, mainly. As we go uh, to air here uh, in the middle of Friday, uh, Tamerlan Tsarnaev, who is the older one, 26 years old, uh, is dead. Uh, apparently he was killed in a shootout last night and unfortunately an, an MIT security officer was also killed and a transit officer was shot and wounded. Uh, he is from Chechnya and so is his younger brother Jokar Sarnayev who at this point is still at large. Now it appears the police have him cornered in a house but that is unclear based on the press reports because they don't want the press to report uh, where he might be. So uh, obviously he will be, that situation will get resolved at some point and by the time you see this it might already be resolved but right now we know Tamerlan is dead and uh, Jokar is being hunted down and Jokar is uh, 19 years old. Now here's what's interesting. Apparently Jokar is considered and, and described by all the people that went to high school with him, classmates, etc. as a very friendly guy uh, and outgoing, he was an athlete, he apparently won a scholarship, uh, was a good student and was on the wrestling team and uh, what's funny is a lot of his classmates say, no, no man, he was all American, he smoked weed all the time. I interesting description. On the other hand, Tamerlan, who you see in some of the boxing pictures, his older brother, who's 26, was more of a loner and uh, it appears that he might have influenced, and this is really early on, but it, so right now it looks like he might have influenced his younger brother. Uh, let me give you uh, one of his quotes here. He apparently wrote in one of the pictures that he posted of himself boxing, originally from Chechnya, but living in the United States since five years. I don't have a single American friend. I don't understand them. Well, uh, maybe you should have made an effort to understand them instead of bomb them. So uh, this is, of course, ho horribly tragic. Uh, and, you, you know, there was a whole question about what race are they, what religion are they, are they foreign, are they domestic, are they Muslim, are they white? Well it turns out the answer is all of the above. They're Muslim, they're also definitely white. Now here's the most amusing uh, tweets that I got this morning from conservatives in the midst of this tragedy. They're claiming that no, they're not white. They're from the Caucasus region of Russia. They're literally Caucasians. Look, they're Muslims, but you don't have to go making up stuff about how they're not white. You already, if you want to blame all Muslims, you've already got that bigot angle. You don't need to go to the racial angle. Okay, so they're both white and Muslim. And now, are they domestic or foreign? Well, they're from Chechnya originally, but apparently they grew up here for a long time. Uh, Jokar, the one uh, that's 19 years old and still at large, was here since he was nine years old. His classmates say no accent. All American kid, as I said before, obviously with the enormous exception that he just did a horrible terrorist bombing. Now, we don't know yet what drove them to this. Uh, was it the feeling that they had that America does not treat Muslims right? Well, if that's the case, boy, could you have been any more counterproductive? I mean, how stupid are you that you do a bombing of innocent people in the middle of Boston? You think that's going to get America to treat Muslims better? What do you think, that's vengeance or something? Now, look, everybody knows it's gruesome and it's stupid, but I just want to drive it home here because I want to show you the victims. Now, you see this, this is Crystal Campbell we're going to show you here, Martin Richard and Lou Lingzi. Now, what in the world did they do to deserve this? Now, if you had some stupid ideology about, oh, I want to get America back, is this the people you wanted to get back? Why? Why? How do you know? Let's say you're against the American government. You think what the American government is doing is wrong, whether it's about Chechnya or Muslims or whatever it might be. How did it help to kill that poor Martin Richard kid? Who, who, how do you know? Maybe he was going to grow up to help fix the current government situation in America. You don't know because you killed innocent people. Man, I see the victims and I get mad all over again. So, and I just got to give huge credit to the cops here. It's a tough thing to try to figure this thing out. And you know, oftentimes, you know, we show you videos of cops doing wrong things because this happens all over the country. We got to show you that too. But you also got to give them credit when they do uh, something great like this. Look, a lot of times in other countries, it's hard 
without all the you know resources that we have to be honest to be able to catch guys and then since they can't catch them sometimes they get frustrated and strike out at people that had nothing to do with it here look we had an initial couple of wrong suspects but that's part of a normal investigation we find the right guys and within a couple of days it looks like we got them and so huge credit to the FBI and the local cops there and uh, so I'm glad that some sort of justice is coming uh, in this case and if they arrest them obviously the uh, harshest possible penalties and, uh, and, and we should obviously keep him in Boston and bring him to justice where his crimes were committed.